no matter what the judiciary decided, Nigerians know the truth of what happened on February 25th, Okutekbe. Hmm. This Okutekbe, na Sano, he's a lawyer. He don't talk and say, well, the judiciary don't decide. They have decided for the Nigerians, so not Nigerians deciding for themselves. Say, but no matter how they decide the matter between Bola Metinubu, Peter Obi, and Atiku Abubaka, say Nigerians knew what happened on February 25th, you know, 2023. He said that election, everybody knew what happened. There is no how they will twist it and all that. And it's a pity that the, that the court are supposed to be the last, the, the last hope of the common man. You understand? Now, the judiciary has swapped that. So as it is now, poor man, common man, they not get hope again for Nigeria. Because those who are supposed to protect them, they are the same people who are still pushing them outside to, to, to be slaughtered. You understand? He said that yesterday ruling shows that Nigeria democracy is gone. It's a pity. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Mr. Jubri Okutokbe San, who is a lawyer to the Labour Party and his presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, has made it known that no matter the decision of the judiciary, based on the facts, the Nigerians know the truth of what happened on the 25th of February during the presidential election in, in the country. Mr. Okutekbe went on and stated that while the court rely on evidence of fact, the truth does not, noting that Nigeria will do itself well if at all times it upholds truth in the running of its affairs. He also noted that Nigerians know the, the excruciating pains petitioners go through in the hands of INEC. The Labour Party's counsel went further and noted that judgments have been delivered, but justice in, is entirely different from judgment, stating it clearly that Nigeria shall reap the fruit of what is being dished out by those who are supposed to do what is right. Mr. Jubrin Okutekbe made this disclosure in a long post he made on his official X handle on Wednesday evening. While reacting to the judiciary, the, to the judgment that was delivered today, by that was delivered yesterday by the presidential election petition tribunal, Mr. Okutekbe also made it known that those who got the judgment know the truth and that the truth is always constant. In addition, he noted that they, re they, that they respect the court and that he must, therefore, okay, please pardon me. In addition, he, he noted that he respects the court and that he must, therefore, respect the decisions of the court. He went further and stated it clearly that he stands by his conviction with courage for the truth, noting, noting that no baptismal name of legality can make what is not right to become right. Hmm. In his words, no matter what the judiciary decided, based on facts, Nigerians know the truth of what happened on the 25th February 2023 in the presidential election in Nigeria. Truth and facts and evidence in proof and pose apart. Why courts rely on evidence of facts, truth does not. The judgments have been delivered. Justice is different from judgment. Nigeria shall reap the fruits of what is being dished out by those who we trust to do what is right. Those God's judgment know that the truth, know the truth in their heart. Those celebrating know the truth. Truth is constant. It should be recorded that the presidential election 
Petition Tribunal sitting in Abuja delivered judgment on the petitions filed by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, challenging the election that produced Bola Metnubu as the president. Funny enough, Nigerians who have reacted to this are now saying that they were expecting jubilations that the courts have once again ruled in the favor of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. But nothing like that happened. As some persons also say here that, uh, said here that, uh, see, Nigerians will continue to mourn because they have been given what they did not bargain for. The INEC chairman should be blamed. Okay. See, when I was telling you people, I told you people, I said for the fact that Bola Metinobu, the presidential candidate of the APC, who is now the Nigerian president, was deli- was announced the president-elect, and later he was inaugurated as Nigerian president, and thinking that going to court will change the matter, that is just, is nothing, not play. But you see, I love what happened. Even when Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar knows very well, that the power that being will not allow them to cross their line. But at least they have proved to the world, they have told the world that, see, what they did is wrong. What they did was wrong. It was wrong for you to declare someone who did not win the election, according to them. They proved to the world by going to the courts. You understand? It would have, it would have been sad that after everything, they declared him as the winner, even though you know the truth. It's okay, I beg, made them go. After all, it don't happen. But going to the court is the best thing they did. So those people who are saying, did we not ask you not to go to the court, this and this and that? Did we not ask you to join hands and uh, work with Bola Tinubu? See, whether they declared them winner or they did not declare them winner, going to the court, they have set an example, they have told the world that, see, this is how this is supposed to be. Even when the, the, the judgment has been delivered, everybody knows who won that election on February 25th, 2023. Nigerians knows who they voted for. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.